Welcome back. Let's jump into this because Bitcoin is super bullish right now. First, we're going to get on with some news. We're going to get on with some market updates. Then I'm going to get into the TA and the trades that you should be looking for this week on Bitcoin. Let's get into this. The clock has ticked on Bitcoin's post-halvening surge, 100 days after the fourth halvening. Usually when this happens, guys, it's super, super bullish. Every other cycle, really, really bullish when this happens. So expect an uptrend very soon. Uh, if we are looking at Bitcoin over the weekend, we had a Trump speech, as you guys are probably aware of. Uh, that was bullish, it affected the market bullishly. But uh, I, thought the I thought the speech generally was just a bit of a nothing burger. Uh, so we'll see how this affects it long term, right? If we are looking at the general market, we are seeing meme coins completely blast all the other coins out of the water. We're seeing Bone, we're seeing Brett absolutely bang it with double digit percentage gains. Okay, uh, the rest of the market looking pretty good though. If we are looking at Fear and Greed Index up to a steep 74 here, usually when we do get to this level or like the mid to high 70s, we can expect a pullback on Bitcoin. And as we'll find out in a minute, when we get to the TA, uh, we are at a resistance. We are looking at ETF overview here. We can see pretty steady positive inflows here on the right where it says total, okay, 51 million USD chilling on that last day update. We'll see how it does perform today though. Bitcoin energy value coming through here. If we get above this red line, it's parabolic. Just ride it. Just 100x long. Ride that bad boy. Maybe not 100x, but uh, yeah, ride that bad boy once to get over there. Roughly around 80k right now and bang it to 100. Okay, we're looking at electricity consumption index. Bit of a complex one, but when this goes up, market goes up. Okay, it's how much money the miners are spending on Bitcoin. Okay, so yeah, super bullish, but a bit of a curve right now. Liquidation heat map here, guys. We can see uh, that, yeah, it does look like the momentum's worn off off the weekend pump. And uh, we do have liquidation levels that are targetable uh, around 68K. So keep that in mind. But what do you guys think about the markets, right? How do you feel about this today? Is it bullish? Is it bearish? Is it neutral? Or is it boring? Not that boring, not that boring, as you can see here with this massive, massive chart, um, Pumperino coming through here. Let's jump into the TA. I've got a couple of trades I want to highlight for you guys, particularly if you're an investor uh, with larger amounts of money, just simply because uh, they're a lot more low risk, right? Uh, so if we are looking at this thing right here, right now, guys, what we're looking for is for this pattern to break. We've been talking about this thing for months, literally since this low here. <laughs> We've been talking about this thing in March. So uh, yes, we have still been in it. Uh, we did kind of invalidate it a little bit with this dump previously, but have since reclaimed it. And you could make the argument, very strong argument here, justifiable argument that, um, that yeah, I mean, we are back in the pattern. We have had a wave that's essentially the length of the pattern. So you could probably expect the next wave to be of this, which does kind of validate the measure move again anyway. So what we're looking for here generally, guys, and the reason why we're not getting in this super early is because we're at such a round number, 70K, right? If we can smash through 70K here, guys, uh, make a high, right? Come back, retest it, break that high, then uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. We bang it in uh, and we look for a roughly a 10% trade all the way up here. And as time has progressed, this linear regressional growth curve, which is essentially uh, this rainbow kind of structure here. And yeah, linear regression is a very, very commonly used thing. Uh, in many, many assets, including gold, right? So this is something we will rely on here because it, it does work and we can see the correlation with Bitcoin uh, fantastically here. We can see that, yeah, currently around 83.7. So if we are looking at that, we could probably uh, leave, our, leave our little... Um, Leave it roughly around 10%, roughly around 81K. You could get it a little bit lower if you want to think of 80K as the round number that we'll potentially reject off of. Absolutely fine. Okay, uh, still a huge, huge trade in terms of investment, right? So if you put 100K in here as we break the all-time high and we go into price discovery, then yes, uh, you can make 80K from that, from 1X spot. Okay, spot, no leverage needed, all right? So that's why it's more of an investment trade uh, because, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's in a bull market, looking super bullish right now. This would be the time uh, that's the most risk averse to get in for sure. And you basically just have your stop loss underneath that previous all-time high once we're into this kind of area, all right? Uh, what we will say here is hash ribbons, the on-chain, right? As we did talk a little bit about, right, with the energy consumption uh, index, uh, we can see the on-chain confirming a beautiful long signal here, okay? So previously, they were looking a little bit ski whiff, but as you can see, right? Uh, we've had enough of a time period where we're, we've been in this long signal uh, and that hash rate has been solid uh, for that time over the weekend. So yes, uh, yeah, this, this long signal is valid. You could long right now if you would like to. Okay. Uh, I have got a little bit in here. I have got a little bit, but uh, most of my funds, I'm waiting for that all-time high break just for a, a, a quick, easy, uh, low risk trade here uh, towards the upside, right? Uh, we are at a very, very crucial resistance. All right. That's the point of this video generally. Okay. Super bullish, but 
Uh, we are at this crucial resistance here at the top of this pattern. Uh, we haven't really, I mean, we've had a pretty decent pullback before this long signal, but uh, what I will say is just be careful with this thing because, uh, yeah, th this resistance we have just destroyed like bitcoin's price has been destroyed every single time we hit it so far all right so there is still that chance there is still that possibility that we can come down all right and we can come down and retest as low as i would say 65k here before banging it uh, in terms of cme gaps here guys i do just want to show you we do have a small gap here all right uh, from over the weekend uh, if you do if you did want to kind of think of that as, as being revisited that's fine uh, this actually hasn't been filled it looks like it's been filled right by this wick but uh, this was still the weekend uh, when this was happening, okay? So uh, this wick is really uh, the one you want to be looking at uh, in terms of it being filled. Uh, I would say... I mean, it's debatable. It's, it's very much on the on the line, on, on the kind of threshold of being filled and not being filled. I would lean more towards not being filled here, okay? But uh, yeah, don't just bank your whole balance on that not being filled. It's only a small gap as well, 70.74%, uh, all right? The big CME gap uh, that you guys are probably aware of is all the way down here at 60K. Now, the fact that we've pumped up so much here and haven't filled this massive 4% gap here, okay, uh, is... It's worrying, okay? And what I will say typically is when we do have gaps like this uh, and they don't get filled and we do go parabolic, in that case, if it is going to be a case like that and we don't revisit 60K, then uh, what I will say is this is usually going to end up being the bear market lows, all right? Uh, what we said, uh, what a lot of people have been commenting is, uh, what about the gap at 20K? And uh, th th there isn't a gap at 20K, guys. If we wick into this, a lot of people on YouTube, they don't really get this because they're not actual traders, but typically in, in traditional markets with CME gaps, uh, they can take months, years to fill, of course. That's one thing that you want to keep in mind. Bitcoin, typically, it is either in the future bear market or within a couple weeks or a week, right? Um, in terms of CME gaps in general, you only really need that small wick into it to, to, for it to be filled, all right? Uh, so if, if this was the CME gap here, guys, this would go down as being filled, right? Uh, just because we haven't, just because a candle body is above it, right, doesn't mean it's, uh, it doesn't mean it's not filled, okay? It's really, really important that uh, a lot of people understand that because it's something that a lot of people on YouTube that consider themselves traders don't understand, all right? And, and they, they, they're being fed the wrong information by YouTubers. So uh, me, as someone who has been traditionally trained to trade uh, by real traders, yeah, I mean, this is what it's factually like. If we do get a wick into there, uh, something around this size, it goes down as being filled because price has actually violated inside it, okay? This in itself has not been filled, okay? We have a small wick, but it's not enough for me to say it's been filled, okay? Uh, you want to see that wick go down something like this. So we could get down to 60K. Uh, still, it's still a possibility particularly with us at this resistance okay if we do get one event or something it does want to bang it down 60k uh, i do think it's fairly unlikely at this point but it's worth keeping on your radar in case we do start crashing okay another point here in terms of structure if we do start crashing is this bad boy here from our recent lows okay this structure is going to be important to hold. If we don't hold it, it's actually, um, it's not super bearish, but it's something where I would expect us to come down probably to 60K uh, from that point if we lose this structure. This structure is going to be the line we're looking at right here. I know it's not not so much data. It's only like a month, but uh, it is a line we've respected a lot here. And we've also had that gap here uh, where we've we've kind of like tried to test it, but it's been so bullish and the buy pressure stepped in. Super bullish sign when this happens, by the way, um, because we are getting some kind of parabolic structure structure come through from that point, right? Uh, something like so. So if we do get a pullback today to 68K, uh, I would expect something like this uh, coming through, uh, if it is going to be bullish and parabolic anyway, right? But the trades, as we just talked about here, towards the upside, we are looking for that 8% trade from about 74K, okay? Uh, we are seeing that... Um, that production line, uh, as we talked about in the news section, okay, around 79K, 80K, that kind of zone. So definitely an area to watch for a take profit. And all those resources are free on the internet, guys, if you want to go find them. And as well as that, as well as that, uh, yeah, I would just say be careful as we hit the 70K zone, right? If we if we get over 70K, it doesn't just mean we go parabolic. Obviously, we, obviously we can bang it up. But typically what will happen most of the time is we'll hit a horizontal trend line, we'll come back and retest that, the original trend line we broke over, and then we'll bang it, okay? Just so they can liquidate all the leverage junkies. This is just how it works here in the market. Oh, wow, I'm not even clicking. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just get rid of this thing. Uh, let's, is, is it going to work? Hello? Hello? No, it's not even going to work. Incredible.
There we go. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to be looking for is that long, of course. That's the one around the corner, and it's a, a long-term hold, essentially. Uh, what, what else we're going to be looking for here is if we do get over this 70K and it does want to um, essentially make a high, we're going to be trying to target that, okay? So there is a trade here up to these higher levels, of course. But, um, yeah, I'm not saying bang it all in for 4.6%, for of course. Uh, but if we do get over this, this kind of uh, little nug here, right, we can see around 69, 70K, which we are trying to test right now, then there is a pretty high chance that we do have a little more of a wave towards the upside in which I can see 72, 72, 5 being hit. Uh, and then we make the high retest. And then once we break that high, uh, that would be the area I would be looking at for that investment long. But it really depends how long we stay into this area. And it really depends where the high is made. Uh, but typically, yes, I would expect some kind of rejection around this zone, but we might get a wick into here first. Ideally, the, the lowest risk scenario here for the short term trade would be a wick into here over like a couple hours. So we wick into here at 71k, then we come back and then we lose this um, the 15 minute volume weighted ATR bands. If I just get rid of these real quick, right? It's 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. Okay, if we lose that after banging it through, that would be a great sign that we do come down and retest. All right, and I would expect us to retest this four hour volume weighted ATR band after that. All right, and then from that point, it's literally a case of just breaking the high. Okay, we're also looking for 74K to break being the all time high, uh, but we might find a trade into this area anyway. One thing I will say about this trade, guys, just generally from my experience, if it is super aggressive and you miss it, don't fret, all right? Don't bother, don't bother taking it. Don't bother, bruv, all right? <laughs> don't bother. Uh, what we will say is, uh, yeah, just, just ride it very, very aggressively. Uh, and if you can get it in early, great. If you miss it and it's just banged it up there, don't just try and get in here, okay? Don't do it. It's never a good thing to do, okay? Because we usually come back down, all right? So just be aware. If we can break this high, we can get above this 15-minute fantastic stuff. If not, Absolutely fine. There might even be a short down here, although incredibly risky taking a short in this area, I will say. We do also have this beautiful um, this beautiful little pattern that we've had over the past week, uh, and this is essentially where this move comes from, okay? So we'll be watching this intently, but I want to see us above this 15-minute volume weighted ATR band first before entering, okay? Uh, towards the downside, it's really if we lose this structural line here, okay? So if we lose this structural line here, okay, as well as the four-hour volume weighted ATR band, there may be a tiny little small little smidgen of a trade okay towards the downside uh, which would essentially be uh, yeah like a one percent trade down to this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band okay typically if we are in a super bullish uptrend this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band is massive okay it's it's, it's the area the buy the dip zone okay if we can just get rid of everything else here and really just show you guys in depth here what's going on come on trading view you got, you got it, you got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, you can see these these 15 minute lines, this lower uh, average true range line weighted by volume being an area where that buy pressure does step in, okay? Where these buyers do step in. Uh, th this is the zone, all right? Obviously in a downtrend, it's different, but we have, um, we have criteria for getting in shorts with that when we do lose the 15 minute, right? And then we just use that as a short kind of um, stop loss. Um, trailing stop loss is what I'm getting out of there. All right. Uh, but yes, uh, if we do look at any kind of bullish trend that we've been in here, typically this 15 minute is absolute gold. All right. So just watch that because we are in a bullish uptrend. Uh, yes, we're pretty overextended. I would expect to pull back soon. But after that pullback, this is the area you really want to be looking at uh, for just buying back in. Okay. Uh, if we do lose it, absolutely fine. Just stop loss at the low. Okay. Or whatever. Okay. You can see here, right? Uh, if we do lose it, if you wanted to buy here and we lo lose the low there, then yes, stop loss, take a small loss. But overall, when we are uh, in these kind of bullish uptrends, massive, massive, massive uh, in terms of profit here towards the upside. So uh, yeah, just keep that on your radar. That's going to be super important moving forward over this week. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day out here. I, hope I haven't really said uh, hi properly. So yeah, a bit of a casual hi from me. I hope you're having a great day. And uh, besides that, if we are just looking at momentum here, a little bit of momentum. Uh, yeah, one hour is the right way to go here. We are seeing actually, yeah, volume, volume here coming through. Um, is it's bullish it's bullish right now i know this looks super crazy and you probably don't understand it but uh, all this is is moving averages of volume right so if the blue one is above the other ones uh, then that is typically a sign that we're in a move it doesn't necessarily mean we're bullish or bearish but it means we're in a move all right because volume is increasing all right and then when that volume wears off then they cross towards the upside uh, sorry cross towards the downside and then you can be expecting more of a sideways market pullback kind of market coming through so uh, yes the fact that these just crossed towards the upside today uh, is a fantastic 
fantastic sign. Uh, we will see how it does react to this when it tests it. Uh, typically in, in kind of a bullish momentous moves, we can kind of uh, test just above it uh, and keep that momentum going a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, generally what I would say here is it looks pretty decent for a move up today, but we have this very, very large looming resistance here uh, that is a daily resistance, a huge macro resistance at that. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to take some, uh, a, a lot of buy pressure to get above this. So we'll see how this goes, but overall looking pretty decent so far. All right, we've highlighted the trades here. As you guys know, if we break this all-time high over the next week, looking fantastic. Okay, 74K and up, massive 8% trade. Okay, if we break this kind of area today, uh, get above this 15-minute volume weighted ATR band. All right, a couple hourly closes above this would be fantastic. Okay, then what we'll be looking for is a, is a nice potential 4% trade. Again, I would ladder in the take profits. Uh, every take profit, we hit it. Okay, stop loss to entry. You've created a no loss scenario. All right, then we get to the next level, move the stop loss up to the, the whatever low is made on the way up there. Okay, and then rinse and repeat until eventually a stop loss is hit, but you've made a bunch of money. Okay, simple. Simple, all right? I don't know if any British people are out there, all right? But simple, you guys know where that's from, all right? Let me know in the comments, enlighten everyone, <laughs> okay? Uh, I am gonna be doing um, some giveaways, some giveaways. It's, it's been a good year for me on my main accounts, okay? It's been a very good year. So what we're gonna be doing is some giveaways here for you guys, uh, and we're gonna be kind of hiding little codes in the video for you, all right? So if you see the code, all right, and you comment the code, then you'll be entered into the weekly giveaway, and this will be across Chester and I's channel. So you, be sure to watch his videos as well, Crypto Chester. Uh, and yeah, we will be we'll be doing that every single week, and we'll spin a wheel uh, every Friday, uh, which will be one for the winner and two for the altcoin that you win. All right, so fantastic stuff there. Uh, all you got to do is just watch the video for the code. Easy game, easy game here. Free money, free money. Uh, before we do end the video, I do just want to say, guys, uh, we're we're changing up the content schedule. It's going to be a lot more short. It's be a lot more things happening. Uh, we're, we're just going to blast everything here on this channel and across all the socials as well. Uh, Chester and I had a meeting today. It's probably why this video is a bit late. But um, yeah, we're, we're going to be seriously going for the crypto uh, kind of YouTuber status now because uh, yeah, we're chilling out here. We're chilling out here and we want to we wanna teach more people. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be it pretty much for this video. Uh, I do just want to say Prime XBT. All right, we're going to be doing a video series on that very, very soon. It's going to be long form, story driven, very well edited. Got editors planned. Okay, I got editors hired. Uh, everything's going well on that front. And what we're going to be doing is uh, tackling that weekly trading competition just to prove to you guys, just to prove to you guys that it's winnable. All right. Uh, and yeah, it's free to enter as well. Right. So uh, yeah, we're going to be trying to do that. It's going to be like a vlog format. I just took this trade, guys. Check it out. Uh, and we'll just see how that goes, all right? It's going to be super aggressive gambly, of course, but <laughs> but uh, it will be fun, all right? It will be fun, and we want to make some more story long-form content for you guys out there as well. So uh, if that's something that, that you like, let me know in the comments. If, if you don't want that, then also let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm here for you guys at the end of the day. Uh, but I want to have a bit more fun and a bit more creativity across the board with this thing. And uh, yeah, after discovering that Prime XBT um, contest... Yeah, it makes sense for me. Uh, be sure to check them out in the description as well. They're currently sponsoring the channel, but this this idea is not from them or anything. This is something Chester and I uh, kind of came up with because uh, we've not seen free trade contests with real prizes before. Uh, so we thought it would be cool to kind of show that, uh, create a viral video so you guys can see that. Uh, and then hopefully you guys can do the same thing and, and win those prizes, okay? But that's gonna be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Uh, and uh, yeah, I love you guys. See you very, very soon. Like the video, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be it. Peace. Bye.